Hello friends, in this video we are starting with vector integration, we will solve line integration problem number 1. Welcome back friends, till now we are done with vector differentiation, now we are starting with vector integration. Let's have a look. Suppose f bar is a given vector that is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k as discussed r bar is x i plus y j plus z k dr bar means i am taking differentiation of r bar x differentiation is dx that is dx i plus dy j plus dz k if i take dot product of f bar dot dr bar which will be with i we do have f1 and here it is dx with j we do have f2 and dy and with k we have f3 and dz if i take integration this is called work done here it is closed curve c this is the formula for work done if f bar and dr bar are given let's start discussion on vector integration friends here in vector integration we do have four types of problems first is line integration then we do have green's theorem stokes theorem and gauss divergence theorem what you can expect in the exam line integration one question fixed between greens and stokes you can expect one question and from gauss divergence you can expect one question this chapter is very important in the exams you can see out of four types you can expect at least three problems in the exam let us start with the first type that is line integration let's have a look on the given problem proof that f bar is equal to this is f bar given in the problem is conservative also find scalar potential and work done from a to this in line integration you can say this is one of the examples that generally comes in the exam out of 10 papers you can say at least seven to eight papers you can expect these type of problems this is very important and generally this comes in the exam for six marks and what i can say six marks are very sorted here you can easily get six marks in this question let's see how the problem is divided into three parts let's discuss the parts the first is we need to prove it is conservative this is first part we need to find the scalar potential that is the second part and we need to find it out the work done that is the third part for three parts two marks each six marks problem let's start solving the problem the first part is we need to check whether it is conservative or not what do you mean by conservative as discussed in the last videos conservative or irrotational means curl of f bar should be zero let's start with the first part let me find it out the curl of f bar if it is zero i'll say the vector is conservative this is i this is j this is k we do have do by do x do by do y do by do z with i we do have this that is 6 x y square minus 2 z cube 6 x y square minus 2 z cube with j we do have this 6 x square y plus 2 y z and with k we do have this that is y square minus 6 z square x let me solve this if the answer is zero i'll conclude the vectors are conservative let's start solving with i inside i'm going to leave the y column and row i'll get do by do y of y square minus 6 z square x first row this height and i'm going to consider these four terms minus do by do z of 6 x square y plus 2 y z second term in determinant is always a minus so minus j i'll be getting dou by dou x of 
वाई स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स जेड स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस दो बाय दो जेड ऑफ सिक्स एक्स वाई स्क्वायर माइनस टू जेड क्यू Finally, plus k. Last term, I'm going to leave last column and first row. That is dou by dou x of six x square y plus two y z minus dou by dou y of six x y square minus two z cube. Let's solve this. I let me differentiate with respect to y x and z a constant. Here y square derivative is two y. This entire term is constant. Therefore, its derivative is zero. Minus with respect to z, its derivative is zero because with respect to z, x and y both are constant. Here, with respect to z, two y is constant. Z derivative is one. Minus j. With respect to x, this is zero. And here minus six z square constant x derivative is one minus with z this is zero and here it will be minus two constant z cube is three z square that is minus six z square plus k with respect to x. Here six y is constant. X square derivative is two x. This derivative is zero. Minus with respect to y. Here six x is constant. Y square is two y. This derivative is zero. Let us check. This will be cancelled. This will be cancelled. This will be cancelled. Everything got cancelled, which is equal to zero. Since curl of f bar is equal to zero, the vector is conservative. First part is done. Very sorted problem. Two parts, two marks each. You will score two marks for this. Two marks done. Very sorted problem. Let's discuss the next part. We need to find it out. Scalar potential. I'll give you the trick to find scalar potential. Follow that trick, and it will be very simple. Let's move on. Number two, scalar potential. That means we need to find it out phi. See the trick. First, you will write dou phi by dou x. Then you are going to write it on dou phi by dou y. Follow the trick, and the problem will be simple. Finally, write it on dou phi by dou z. Here, you are going to write it on f one. Fixed f one means whatever with i. That is. Six x y square minus two z cube. This is actually your f one. Remember the trick. I'm going to write down f one. Here, do phi by do y. I'm going to write it down f two. F two means whatever with i, uh, with the j, which is six x square y plus two y z. This is actually your f two. And finally. Do phi by do z. Write it down f three. F three means whatever with the k, and that is y square minus six z square x. This is your f three. Very simple to get phi. In three cases, you need to integrate. First, here you're going to integrate with respect to x. Why with respect to x? Because if you want phi. In the denominator, we do have x. Therefore, if you want to phi in the first case, you need to integrate with respect to x. In the second case, this one, if you want phi, you need to integrate with respect to y because in the denominator we do have y. Same will be the last case. If you want to phi in the third case, you need to integrate with respect to z. Let's do that. Integrate with respect to x. That means. Six y square constant. X integration is x square by two minus two z cube. With respect to x, two z cube is constant. One derivative is x. Next phi. Now I'm going to integrate with respect to y. 
सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर इज कॉन्स्टेंट वाई इंटीग्रेशन इज वाई स्क्वायर बाई टू प्लस हियर टू जेड इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड अगेन वाई इंटीग्रेशन इज वाई स्क्वायर बाई टू फॉर द लास्ट पार्ट वी गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट दस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई एंड फॉर द लास्ट पार्ट वी गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड वाई स्क्वायर विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट वी आर लेफ्ट विथ वन दैट इज जेड माइनस हियर सिक्स एक्स इज कॉन्स्टेंट जेड स्क्वायर इंटीग्रेशन इज जेड क्यूब बाय थ्री लेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस दिस इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स जेड क्यूब दिस इज इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड रिमेंबर द टेक्निक इन दिस सेकेंड अगेन आई एम गेटिंग थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड वाई स्क्वायर एंड इन द लास्ट आई एम गेटिंग वाई स्क्वायर जेड माइनस टू एक्स जेड क्यू फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज टोटल फाइ टोटल फाइ जस्ट राइट ऑल द टर्म्स रिपीटेड टर्म्स विल बी रिटर्न वंस राइट ऑल द टर्म दिस इज द फर्स्ट टर्म थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर देर फोर फाइव इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर लेट चेक द नेक्स्ट टर्म माइनस टू एक्स जेड क्यूब माइनस टू एक्स जेड क्यूब लेट्स मूव ऑन थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड रिपीटेड टर्म आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कंसिडर आई एम गोइंग टू कंसिडर वंस ओनली जेड वाई स्क्वायर वी हैव एन टेकन विल टेक इट नाउ जेड वाई स्क्वायर लेट्स मूव ऑन here friends y square z this y square z is same as z y square we have already taken therefore i am not going to take the term and the last term is minus 2 x z cube see this we have already covered minus 2 x z cube is already covered therefore i am not going to take this this is my final phi you will get two marks for this this is your scalar potential see the technique remember the technique the problem will be simple and the last part is number 3 you need to find it out work done work done is integration c f bar dot dr bar this is actually your work done friends now you might be thinking how to solve this again i'll give you you a trick to solve this let's see how to do it first of all you going to write it down integration then you going to write it down derivative see the pattern i am writing write down the same way in the exam will get full marks write it down integration then derivative and write it down the scalar potential that you got see here this i am going to write it down that is 3x square y square minus 2xz cube and plus z y square same way please write it down Write down one integration, then derivative, then scalar potential, and show this way. Integration and derivative effect will cancel each other. If this got cancelled, you are left with three x square y square, two x z cube plus z y square. What are the limits of the problem? In the problem, it is given from one comma zero comma two up to zero comma one comma one. you need to very careful while putting this limit from where to where it is from 102 to 011 let us substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit upper limit we do have this limit that is x is 0 y is 1 z is 1 let us substitute if i'll put x 0 this term will be 0 x 0 this will be 0 will be left with the last term z y square z is 1 y is 1 will be left with one only minus lower limit i am going to put this x is 1 y is 0 and z is 2 y is 0 this term will be 0 y is 0 last term will be 0 you will be left with this term let us substitute x is 1 and z cube that is 2 cube is 8 That is minus sixteen. This will be one plus sixteen, which will be equal to seventeen. You will get two marks for this. Very sorted problem. 
टू मार्क्स फॉर प्रूविंग इट इज कंजर्वेटिव टू मार्क्स फॉर स्केटल पोटेंशियल एंड टू मार्क्स फॉर वर्क डन आप सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाई ट्रिक्स रिमेंबर दिस एंड दिस मार्क्स विल बी फिक्स इन दी एग्जाम्स होप यू अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू